Action News has learned a pilot who lived in Philadelphia died in a plane crash this week in Wisconsin. Now the National Transportation Safety Board is working to figure out what happened. Action News reporter Brianna Smith spoke with the pilot's previous flight instructor. She joins us now live along the Ben Franklin Parkway with what she's gathered tonight. Brianna. Shara, the instructor, said Sean Tomervik was an avid flyer for more than 10 years, really just a master at his craft. So he was shocked and saddened to learn about that sudden crash. Well, this is really tragic. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating this deadly plane crash in Akaimi, Wisconsin, on Monday afternoon. The Winnebago County Sheriff's Office found the bodies of 37-year-old Sean Tomervik, who recently moved to Philadelphia, and 32-year-old James Sullivan of Brooklyn, New York, in the wreckage. Sean was, was professional in all aspects. He enjoyed flying. Uh, he always challenged himself uh, to do a good job. David McVinney is a retired Federal Aviation Administration pilot examiner and chief instructor. McVinney says he trained with Tom Vick in El Paso, Texas in 2013. He did so well in the training. I recommended that he go ahead and uh, study up and, and basically get his airline transport pilot certificate which is the highest level that you can get. The sheriff's office says Tom Vick owned the plane, which was a Lance Air Super ES. The airplane that he was flying uh, is an experimental. Uh, it's a high performance airplane. It, it flies very fast uh, and it requires that you be on top of the game. McVinney says Tomervik flew out of Trenton that morning and he listened to the air traffic control recording just minutes before the crash. They were about two miles from the site of the week long EAA Air Venture Air Show. He called the traffic like he was supposed to. And uh, so, you know, unless something distracted him, uh, I'm, I'm not really sure what it is. Hoping to learn from this tragedy while remembering Tomervik's passion for planes. He ended it the way he wanted to, uh, doing what he loved. Uh, you know, it happens quick sometimes. And my condolences to the family. And McVinney says Tomervik had one other accident back in 2012, and the NTSB determined he crashed after failing to properly manage the plane's fuel, and he walked away from that incident with minor injuries. As for this latest incident, the NTSB is investigating and will have a preliminary report within 30 days. Live on the Benjamin Franklin Parkway, Brianna Smith for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Shari? Okay, Brianna, thanks.